Hello everybody, uh, here are Drew with ESM. Thank you ladies again for coming to ESM headquarters in West Palm Beach. Um, and yeah, the purpose of this interview is just to know a little bit about yourself, your experience, why you decided to come to the United States. So who wants to start? <laughs> I can go. Awesome. Yeah, Listen. so my name is Annina Sanko and I'm from Helsinki, Finland. And I graduated high school in 2016 and then in 2017 I came to the United States to play soccer and study. And first I went to a school um, in Springfield, Massachusetts, and then I transferred to Lane University like a year ago in fall. And yeah, now I'm here and I'm enjoying it. <laughs> awesome. What about you, Emma? So my name is Emma Nuotinen. I play ice hockey and soccer. Uh, we went to the same high school in Finland, so I'm also from Helsinki. Oh, so you're best friends? <laughs> oh yeah. <Forever. laughs> right, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> so I came to the US in 2016. Um, I went to Mercyhurst University in Erie, Pennsylvania, and I played four years of college hockey. And now I just transferred to Lynn University with my to, to my best friend <laughs> <laughs> to play soccer. And she now, can do both. <laughs> now I'm playing college soccer and doing my MBA. Wow! So you used to play ice hockey, and now you're in uh, in Florida playing soccer. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. That's unique. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. I mean, it seems that like you're in a top. Yeah, you're top athletes. Um, back home, I understand so far that you used to play professional level, national team. Why United States? Like, come on, girls, you're playing <laughs> professional, you know. Uh, what was important? Why you decided to leave all that and start basically a new life in the United States? What was attractive for you? For me, or for both of us, probably, um, it was really attractive to, or it was interesting to have school and sports at the same time and in the same place. Everything is like in a campus. You have fields you have food you have your place to sleep you have school everything right on there so that was like uh, interesting for me because back home like you actually have to decide kind of if you want to play professional you don't have that much time to do studies and if you do it's not like made as easy as here so that was really attractive for me and that was the one of the biggest reasons why i wanted to come to the united states I mean, yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah. Sounds about right. Uh, and Emma, you said that right now you're doing your MBA, right? Mm -hmm. What happened after you graduate from your degree, from your bachelor's or your undergrad? Why you come to another state and do an MBA? Uh, what happened in that gap? You did receive any professional offers, go back home. Why you decided to stay? Yeah, so I played four years of college hockey and I graduated last fall and I got I got good offers to play professional hockey in Europe, but the reason I wanted to stay in the US was because I got this opportunity to do my master's degree uh, in Florida <laughs> at Lynn University. And yeah, I have, I really like the system here, like uh, to get my education and play high level, high level sports here. That's great. I mean, you said you had offers, so that doesn't mean that if you come to the United States, you just give away your professional life, right? No, you not You had an opportunity as well to go back, and you said you received some offers. Mm -hmm. So it seems like you can do actually both. You can create like a dual path. Yeah. You get your degree, but also you can go back to play professional always. Am I, am I, am I right? Yeah, so um, the ice hockey level here is really good. Um, so it doesn't mean that you would have to decide, I feel like, especially as a, a female athlete, the education is really important and that was always something I really wanted to... You were aiming for it. Yeah. You, you, you really wanted to have just not professional, you know? Yeah. yeah. What happens? So most of the time you want to be professional, that's our child dream, like for childhood dream for everybody, you know? You should yeah. be professional, professional, but at some point you need to study as well. Yeah, exactly. Uh, no, that's, that's, that sounds really, really, really cool. Uh, yeah, congratulations for that, all that background, you know. Um, what about you, Anina? What were your expectations when you, when you decided to come to the United States? What were you expecting about USA? Uh, one of my biggest expectations was that when I come here to like combine um, soccer and school at the same time, and then also uh, another one was to learn English, like, because like back home we start to learn English in school maybe at third grade already but it's way different because it's like books and stuff like that so you don't actually talk English so for me it was always cool because I knew people who went somewhere like as an exchange student or something like that and after a year their English got so much better 
because I was also like shy before I came here, but now every year it's getting better to <laughs> like in every area. That, that's great. Yeah. And uh, what about the facilities? Um, how is more leisure day to day? Did you practice? Did you practice? Did you eat? Did you sleep? How is more days your day to day and the facilities you've been experienced? You've been you said nowadays you had lean, but how was your previous experience with other colleges? It was the same. Good facilities. Um, how was the food? All that you know because people people at the end of the day want to know that. You know, if you're going away from home, how is going to be your new home, you know, out of home? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, in my old school, everything was working so well. So usually back home, like ice time, for example, you really need to have your own time. But at Mercyhurst, I was able to skate whenever I wanted. And it was just so easy because I lived on campus. Our rink was on campus. Like everything was there. Everything was so close. And back home, like... Uh, I always, I had to have my own car to drive to different places. So I really like, I really like how my life works here. So everything is made so easy for me, basically. So I can just focus on my training, my studies, and your your goals yeah. to the future. Yeah, I mean that's amazing. Um, can you tell me a little bit? How did you uh, find your way to the United States? How was your path? Did you need help? Someone help you? You did. You did use an agency. How was that? Uh, part of your recruitment process when you come when you came to the United States. Yeah, um, the most normal way obviously is to use an agency to help people to get here because it's not easy. You need a lot of help with all the paperwork and finding a perfect place for you. But for me personally, it was like I was kind of lucky because my friend helped me and um, her family friend helped me a lot because he's a Finnish guy who lives in Florida and he had a lot of experience like in college sports and stuff like that so it was easy because I could have I could like um he could help me in Finnish and he would like you know find me a good place to go and he had all these connections so I was lucky in that way so I didn't need to use agency which is the normal way mm. yeah I didn't use an agency either like I had a couple friends in the U.S. playing uh college sports so they really helped me with like all the paperwork and told me what I need to do and also uh, the team had a, where I went, they had a Swedish assistant coach and he really understood the process, like what it is for European players, because obviously it's uh, it's uh, really different from the yeah. players who are coming from the US, so. Yeah, we both started like receiving Facebook messages maybe in 2012 or something, <laughs> like from different schools from everywhere, like a couple of schools were contacting us, so that's also when we got the idea to come here and why we necessarily didn't need to use an agency because we already had some of their connections. Oh I man, that's great. Yeah. But can you imagine doing this on your on, like on your own? <laughs> no, <never>. uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you need help with it. That's great. Um, what would you say to the Finnish people that is watching this video? What would you say to all the athletes that are watching this video? Is United States, would you recommend to start your pathway to United States when you're 14, 13, when you're 18, 19, what would you say to all these people that is watching the video? For me personally, it's been like the best almost four years of my life because um, to do like you know all the time that you're playing the sport you love and you can study at the same time, which is really important to get a degree and to have the experience like in a different culture, different environment, you see all these cool places and meet people from all around the world. So if someone has a chance, um, or if anyone has a chance to come here, I think they should because you can always go home, but you can never get this time back. So I think everyone who has the opportunity to come here should because it's actually the best time. And now, especially when I'm in Florida, I really like it. And I think I'm never going to have a chance again to live in like this kind of beautiful place. So it's more or less like a once in a lifetime opportunity, right? Yeah. Probably yeah, when you're exactly. 30, you know, you, know, yeah. you can't yeah. come to yeah. study yeah. and play, meet friends from all over the world. Yeah. Yeah. What would you say specific, because you two girls are from Finland, what would you say to the girls and to the boys from Finland that they're teenagers and they have to make the decision after high school? Would you recommend this after your experience here? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I Like, this has been so great and like, I have like the level of sports is really good here and the education is also a huge thing to get and also like the connections I made here it's I know that I'm gonna have those for the rest of my life and it's just yeah I really 
it, it, <laughs> it's, it's a win-win then at the end of the day yeah it's not an easy decision but you know that there's a lot of good things yeah because it's a long-term plan mm -hmm. right you were thinking just in one year or you were thinking in like five six years yeah i've always wanted to stay here for the full full four years yeah. now it's <laughs> five years for yeah. me but yeah so you but can't oh. the thing is that you can always go back home yeah. like I wouldn't be afraid to take this chance because it can be the best decision of your <laughs> life. <Yeah. laughs> Here I feel like you live like a double life. Like you have life back home in Finland and you have life here. And when I'm here, it's like this life. And when I'm home, it's like nothing changed back home, you know? So you can always go back there and you will always have your like real friends, family. And being here, it's like a great thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Girls, thank you very much for your time. Um, thank you for watching um, more or less the experience of two top athletes that decided to come to the United States. It's possible. You just need to start your recruitment process soon. Okay? Yes. Thank you very much, girls. Thank you thank so you. much. Take care. Take care.